Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Good morning, I'm Kiana Patterson here with your Saturday morning headlines. All new this morning, a pedestrian was seriously hurt after they were hit by a car last night in Suffolk. The crash happened around 930 on North Main Street. Officials say the pedestrian received medical attention on scene and then was taken to the hospital. We're working to find out how that person is doing this morning. The cause of the crash is under investigation. And the push to keep police on our streets continues. To know your side has learned Norfolk is considering paying some officers $12,000 bonuses if they agree to serving for more than five years. Now the proposal is up for a vote in City Council on Tuesday. It's pitched to halt more officers from leaving. In July, Norfolk's police chief told us they were down more than 100 officers. Not helping matters for the department is a $5,000 transfer incentive being offered by Virginia Beach Police Department. So far, the president of the Norfolk Police Union says he is not impressed by the move. You'll hear more from him by logging on over on wavy.com. And turning to developing news, now we can show you the man Virginia Beach Police say shot and killed another man in a domestic situation earlier this week. Police arrested 32-year-old Jamel Thurgood in Oxford, North Carolina, about 30 miles north of Durham. He's facing charges in connection to the death of 28-year-old Marquise Alston. Alston was found shot on Elm Grove Court on Tuesday. Investigators say the shooting was domestic related. Third good is expected to be transported back to Virginia Beach. Now let's get a check of the weather with meteorologist Casey Laheka. Good morning. We are off to a mostly dry start right now, but we will see some showers and even a few storms increase as the day goes on, especially for areas right along the water. Inland locations, I really don't think you're going to see much, um, but for the Outer Banks at the ocean front, there will be some scattered showers, so do keep that in mind. Otherwise, as we go into the next couple of days, we're finally starting to dry out. But because of Henri uh, that's off the coast, there is a high risk for rip current. So be very, very careful if you are going to be heading into the water. Only experienced swimmers should be uh, going into the water and surfers. 90 degrees tomorrow. And then finally, we start to get rid of that rain chance. It has been a rainy week. Uh, a few scattered showers still sticking around for Sunday. But then much of the week ahead is looking pretty good. And you can always find the latest forecast updates at wavy.com. And thank you for joining us this morning. Remember, you can get updates on all of our news over on wavy.com. Have a great day.